Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart, overthinking everything. So many of us, myself included, will overthink things. We'll overanalyze things. We have a hard time just staying focused on one thing and we think through it sometimes in a, in a very negative and destructive way. Some of us tend to be ruminators, dwellers, obsessors. And being a perfectionist like I am and, and also somewhat of a control freak, we tend to want to think through things. And we have in our mind that overthinking is more like problem solving, but it's really not. Overthinking can be exhausting. Now our thoughts are incredibly powerful and we don't realize how powerful they truly are until the effects of overthinking impact us. Sometimes it causes anxiety, certainly it can cause worry, stress, sometimes depression. It can disturb our sleep. It can cause some people to move towards an addiction like alcohol or drugs or spending money or food. There's so many different ways in which people cope with negative emotions. But a lot of people don't realize the connection between our thoughts and our feelings, which then connect to our actions. And I am encouraging you to pay attention to the thoughts you generate in your head because those thoughts can be overwhelming and they can impact our lives in such significant ways. So let me give you some ideas about what to do if you're an overthinker. One thing that you can do is you can start paying attention. Obviously, awareness is the first step to any change process, but pay attention to the thoughts that you generate in your head on a regular basis. Maybe even write them down, maybe start journaling. And actually, one of the solutions to overthinking is to do a brain dump, is to keep a journal and maybe dump some of those negative and obsessive thoughts onto paper, especially right before bedtime, because that seems to be a time where us overthinkers, uh, you know, can't shut that, that mind off, that brain off. It might be right before bedtime, or we may wake up at two or three in the morning and bam, those thoughts come running through our heads and we go from one to the other to the other. So journaling or doing this brain dump and writing down some of those thoughts can be a, an effective way of, of managing it. A second way is to come up with a new script and reframe some of those negative thoughts. So our negative thoughts often are catastrophizing in nature. Often they are destructive. So we try reframing it to something more constructive, more rational, more positive. In fact, I often encourage patients of mine to actually write out some reframed thoughts and put them on sticky notes Put them on the mirror of your, you know, your bathroom and look at the reframe and focus in on those reframed thoughts instead of being consumed with those negative thoughts. And the negative thoughts are often what if generated, like what if this happens and what if that happens, often focused on the future. And I'll encourage people to play, replace the what if with what is. What is today? Instead of trying to anticipate tomorrow, focus in on today, which is another solution. And that is to stay in touch with the here and now, to be mindful, to be aware of all five of your senses when you're in a situation and focus on that. Focus on staying present instead of focusing on tomorrow or the future. Third thing is, think about those, those thoughts that are consuming you and how you can take action, how you can take charge. What can I do with those thoughts? Is there anything I can do to 
reduce some of that tension and some of that anxiety I have? And what action and what solutions can I generate for those, those thoughts that consume me? Something else that I would encourage is distract. So sometimes those thoughts overwhelm us and maybe we need to distract, kind of like change the channel, move to a new location, engage in a different activity, maybe do some push-ups or some sit-ups or, or go for a walk, or, but do something to distract yourself so that you're not stuck wallowing in those negative thoughts that can be overwhelming. So working on what you can do and then the other thing is, is working on letting go of, of what you don't have control over. So many of us have a hard time letting go of the things we can't control. Let go of the past. Let go of the things that we can't control in the future or can't predict in the future. I know that it's, it's difficult to do that, but I would encourage you to focus in on that. Focus in on letting go. And lastly, try to stay connected to people, to your faith. Stay connected to the things that give you a sense of stability, a sense of security, things that give you a sense of comfort and peace. Because there's a lot of turmoil going on in our head and we need to be experiencing that peace and comfort that often comes through our faith and our relationships. Embrace, embrace and accept that these thoughts and these emotions are part of our human nature. But just like we learn certain thoughts, we can unlearn the same patterns of behavior. I challenge you, I challenge you to deal with this overthinking tendency that you might have and incorporate some of the solutions I'm suggesting. Be well, and until next time, Dr. Tony Ferretti.